Hello everyone, it's Kruh and welcome to the 5th episode of Doki Doki Literature Club. I mm, don't have anything to say, um, let's just continue. I think uh, we finished where Nazi Kendiri started to argue. Yeah, okay, so let's continue. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smile, smiles sadly. What's with this language? Huh? Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Uh, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Huh? You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Um, well, I do have a couple suggestions. Hmm. If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Sayori liked it, and Kruhi did too. So based on that, I will gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me, I appreciate the offer, but I spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon. Unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspi inspiring, which I haven't yet. N and Kruhu liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. And so he suddenly stands up. Oh, I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Eh? Uh, th that's, that's not what I... Ooh, you... You just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Kruh appreciates my advice more than he appreciates yours. Huh? And how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? I... No. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly... do overly cutesy. Ooh. Um, is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as crew he started showing up. Natsuki! Um, Natsuki does a little... This doesn't involve you. I don't like fighting guys. Suddenly, both girls turned towards me, as if they just noticed I was standing there. Crew he... She... she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point in making your poems all convoluted for no reason? The meaning should jump out at the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. Help me... help me explain that to her, Kruhe. Wait! There is a reason we have so many different expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and meaning the most effectively. Avoiding them is not only unnecessarily limiting yourself, it's also a waste. You understand that, right, Kruhe? Um, well... Uh, how did I get dragged into this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing. But whomever I agree with will probably think more highly of me. So of course that's going to be... Yuri. Like, even like, objectively, I think that Yuri's point is the best, because like, Natsuki got really um, annoyed by hearing her writing style is cute, but actually I think it's not a bad thing, it's just really a thing. And Yuri is not trying to, maybe she's trying to impress us, but um, like everyone tries their best to impress everyone around. It's not only that she does, but anyways, Yuri. Natsuki, 
You're right that I liked your poem. See? Wait. That's not an excuse for you to be so mean. You shouldn't pick a fight just because someone's opinion is different. That's not what happened at all. Yuri wouldn't even take my poem seriously. Hmm, understand. Yuri, huh? You're a silly talented writer. It's no secret that I was impressed. Well, that's... But here's the thing. No matter how simple or refined someone's writing style is, you're still putting feelings into it and it becomes something really personal. That's why Natsuki felt present when you said her poem was cute. I see. I didn't notice that I... I'm sorry. Ooh. But Natsuki, you took it way too far. Yuri means well, and if you just told her how you felt... Then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. Are you kidding? That's exactly what I did. It was her that... Natsuki, I think that's enough. You both said some things that you didn't mean. You apologize, don't you think you should too? Mm. Natsuki clenches her fists. In the end, nobody has taken her side. She's trapped at this being... At this point being defiant only because she can handle the pressure. I end up even feeling bad for her. Um, sometimes when I'm hurt, it helps to take a walk and clear my head. Sorry, she doesn't need to. You know what? I'm going to do that. I'll spare me from having to look at all your faces right now. Without warning, Natsuki snatches her own poem off from the desk and storms out. On her way out, she crumples up the poem with her hands and throws it in the trash. Natsuki. She really didn't need to do that. I look across the room. Yuri has her chin buried in her hands while she stares down at her desk. I gingerly approach her and sit in an adjacent chair. Sigh. Everything alright? I'm so embarrassed. I can't believe I acted like that. You probably hate me now. No, Yuri. How could anyone not have gotten frustrated after being treated like that? You handled it as well as anyone could. I don't think any less of you. Well, alright, I believe you. Thanks, Kruhe. You were too kind. I'm thankful to have you a part of this club now. Er, uh, it's, it's nothing. One more thing. Um, that one thing that Natsuki said about, you know. I would never do anything so shameful. So, huh? What thing did Natsuki say? Here and see is just dumb, like, she mentioned some things about her boobs, and that's the thing. Yeah, I would be surprised too, like, hear the protagonist, um, who just sounds like a dumb person. Um, well, never mind that, I'm going to go make some tea. Ah, good idea, make enough for more, more than one person, okay? Yeah. Okay everyone, it's just about time for us to leave. How did you all feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun. Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was alright. Well, mostly. Guru, how about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. It was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Awesome, in that case we'll do the same thing tomorrow. And maybe you learn something from your friends too. So your poems will turn out even better. I think to myself, I did learn a little more about the kinds of poems everyone likes. With any luck, that means I can at least do a better job impressing those I want to impress. And not to myself, with newfound determination. Kruhe, ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. Haha. <laughs> Sayori beams at me. It truly has been a while since Sayori and I have spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. Sayori, about what happened earlier. Uh, what do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsuki. Does that kind of thing happen often? No, no, no. 
That's really the first time I've seen them fight like that. I promise they're both wonderful people. You don't, you don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. I just want an European, that's all. I can see why they'd make good friends with you. Phew. You know, Kruhe, it's nice that I get to spend with, spend time with you in the club. And I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. And I think everyone really likes you too. That's... Yeah. <laughs> Every day is going to be so much fun. Ah. It looks like Sayori still hasn't caught on to the kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but... Does it really need to stop there? We we'll just have to see what the future holds, na Sayori. I pat Sayori on the shoulder. I said that more to myself than to her, but it's easy to use Sayori as an internal monologue sometimes. Okay, yeah, let's do this. Okay, I just save in case of alert if I don't write a good poem, but let's go. Um, yeah, we still have time, it's been like 10 minutes only. So, for Yuri, dog? No, it's for Sayori, okay. Um, entropy, essence, extraordinary. No, what? Okay, horror. Incongruent, incongruent, incongruent. No, never mind. Oh, sorry, honorary quieted. What the hell? Wait, you know what? We'll load. I'm sorry for this, guys. Crimson. Uh, brief. Faster. Tenacious. And fully able. Existence. Unstable. Uncanny. Variance. Extreme analysis analysis I mean Hmm passion Passion Damn I wanted to write a perfect poem Imagination Horror Judgment Night Gun Oh, that's for Natsuki. Philosophy, uh, sensation, incapable, misery. No, it's for Sayori God. Okay, I hope that was a good enough poem for Yuri. Another day passes and it's time for the club meeting already. I've gotten a little more comfortable here over the past couple days. Entering the club room. The usual scene greets me. Hi Kruhe. Yo, Sayori. Looks like you're in a good mood today. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm just still not used to you being in the club, that's all. I see. That's a pretty simple thing to get in you in a to get you in a good mood. But I guess it's always the simple things with you anyway. Speaking of which, I'm kinda hungry. Will you come with me to buy a snack? No thanks. Huh? That's not like you at all. I have my reasons. Why don't we take a look at your purse, Sayori? Uh, why that all of a sudden? No reason, really. I just wanted to look at it. Uh, Sayori nervously retrieves her coin purse. She fumbles with the latch and gets it open. Then she turns it upside down and lets its contents spill onto the desk. Only two small coins fell out. Haha, <laughs> uh, I knew it. I can see right through you, Sayori. That's not fair. How did you even know? It's simple. If you had enough money in the first place, you would have bought a snack before coming to the club room. So either you're not hungry and wanted to excuse to take a walk, or you plan to conveniently forget that you spent all your money so that I will lend you some. But there's one more thing. You're always hungry. 
and so that only leaves the one posh option. Oh wow, I give up. Don't make me feel guilty. If you feel guilty, that means you deserve to feel guilty. <laughs> Yuri suddenly giggles. Eh? I didn't notice that she was listening in. Her face is in her book and as always. Uh, I wasn't listening or anything. I... Oh, sorry. It was just something in my book. Yuri! Tell Kruhi to let me borrow some money. That's... Don't get me involved like that, Sayori. Besides, you should only buy what you can responsibly afford. And frankly, after pulling a mis mischievous a little stunt like that, your suffering is fair enough retribution. Uh, did I just... I didn't mean that. I got too absorbed into my book. Ooh. <laughs> I really like when you speak your mind, Yuri. It doesn't happen much, but it's a fun side of you. That's... There's no way you could think that. You were right, though. I did something bad and now I have to accept, my, accept the revolution. Retribution. That. <laughs> Still coming from you, Sayori. I guess there's a little devil inside all of us, isn't there? Yeah. Don't let her fool you. Sayori knows exactly what she's doing. After all, she told you guys she was bringing me to the club, before she even told me. B but you wouldn't have come if it weren't for the cupcakes. They had to trick Sir N They had to trick Natsuki into making them. Come on, give me more credit than that, Sayori. Oh, out of nowhere, something smacks Sayori in the face and tumbles onto the desk. Kya! Ow. What was... Eh? Huh? A, a cookie. Sure enough, it's a giant cookie wrapped in plastic. Sorry glances around. Is this a miracle? It's because I paid my restitution. Retribution. Actually, that one almost worked. Haha. <laughs> I was just gonna give it to you. But then I heard you blab about the cupcakes. It was totally worth seeing your reaction though. Haha. <laughs> Natsuki, that's so nice of you. I'm so happy. Sayori, sucks Sayori hugs the cookie. Jeez, just eat it. Sayori rapidly tears open the wrapper and takes a big bite. So good. Mm. Sayori suddenly clasps her hands over her mouth. I bit my tongue. Nah, you're going to you're going through a lot over just one cookie. Natsuki takes a bite of her own cookie her own cookie. Ah, yours looks really good too, Natsuki. Can I try it? Jeez. Begards can be choosers. But yours is chocolate. Yeah, why do you think I gave you that one? Fine. Still, I'm really happy that you shared this one with me. Haha. <laughs> Sayori gets out of her seat and goes behind Natsuki and then wraps her arms around her. Ah, jeez. I get it, I get it. Cookie soon in hand, Natsuki reaches up to notch Sayori off to her. Mm -hmm. Sayori suddenly leans down and takes a bite out of, a Nats of Natsuki's cookie. Hey, did you seriously just do that? Hoo hoo. Mouthful, Sayori trots away to safety. Yuri and I laugh as well. Jeez, you're such a kid sometimes. Monica, can you tell Sayori. Huh? Natsuki glances around. Monica isn't in the club room. Uh, where's Monica anyway? Good question. Have any of you heard anything about her being late today? Not me. Yeah, I haven't either. Hmm, that's a bit unusual. I hope she's okay. Of course she's okay. She's okay. She probably just had something to do today. She's pretty popular after all. Ah? Uh, you don't think she... She has a... Huh, mm, I wouldn't be surprised. She's probably more desirable than all of us combined. Oh, uh, that's true. Excuse me? Suddenly the door swings open. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Ah, oh, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Eh? Uh? Monica chose the club over her boyfriend after all. You're so strong-willed. boyfriend What on earth are you talking about? Monica quizzically glanced at me. 
Uh, never mind that. Well, held you up. What held you up, anyway? Um, well, my last period today was study hall. To be honest, I kind of just lost track of time. Haha. <laughs> that makes no sense, though. You would have heard the bell ring, at least. I must not have heard it since I was practicing piano. Piano? I wasn't aware you played music as well, Monica. Uh, I don't, really. I kind of just started recently. I've always wanted to learn piano. That's so cool. Doesn't really look like she was playing piano, or maybe she's embarrassed by it, but... Her face is just a bit suspicious. You should play something for us, Monica. That's... Monica looks at me. Maybe once I get a little, a little bit better, I will. Yay! That sounds cool. I'd also look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, Kruhe. Monica smiles sweetly. Uh, I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. Uh -huh, don't worry. I've been practicing a whole lot recently. And I really love the chance to share once I'm ready. I see. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. So, I didn't miss anything, did I? Not, not really. I choose to leave out Sayori's mischievous escapade. I'm sure Natsuki will end up complaining to her anyway. It looks like everyone has already settled down. Sayori somehow already finished her entire cookie. Yuri is back to her book and Natsuki disappeared into the closet. Okay, so at uh, this point I'm about to end today's video. Mm. That was really fun. At least no mistakes, I didn't have to record it twice. Mm. Okay, at least at first let's... I think this music. Yeah, Poem Panic. But let's have something else. And pictures, new pictures. What pictures? Oh! Oh! Okay! Artwork drawn by Satchley to celebrate Halloween 2019. Select the word her during the po poem game. It has to happen, so... Oh god, well... Hmm... I'm seeing this art for the first time. It's weird I missed it, but that looks really nice. I mean, the like cow costume of Sayori looks a bit weird, but... I mean, the whole thing looks weird, but it's Halloween, I guess. And what is funny is that in less than a month, it's Halloween already. So more or less, good moment for that. Okay, so th these are some, like, um... Odds that I'm waiting for or sketches like this is something you don't really have in the game because these things are just like you know uh, useful to make thumbnails for me or something like this one I used for a thumbnail and uh, this one is the background for the thumbnails okay so enough of talking um, thank you for watching um, take care all of you and see you tomorrow as always.